There was a time when I used to eat KFC almost every day. When I leave work, I buy it. Because I'm not going to cook. Because I will cook and carry for lunch, but then when I go in home, I buy KFC. And then I tell myself, I have to cut down, I have to cut down. And then I start back with it again. KFC is really good. But to me, KFC doesn't slap like or used to slap when I was a child. Then Zande, you eat KFC no, you want it later. You not stuff like that again, but it still tastes good. Because people just love KFC. They just love chicken. It should be our national dish instead of Aki and Salvish. They just love KFC. And on top of that, most working class people don't have time to cook or they don't like to cook. So it's a most convenient, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, most convenient food to catch, KFC. And then it's nice, it's super nice. Even when this, the, the chicken is so, so expensive. Since um, last year to this year, they raised the chicken about five times and people still be buying it like crazy like the more the chicken go up the prices go up the more the people increase nate in your state all right ladies and gentlemen while it's important to note that ackee and saltfish is widely recognized as a national dish of jamaica i can certainly present a hypothetical case for why some might consider jamaican kfc to be a contender for the title of the new national dish Keep in mind, this is just me speculating as a creative sort of exercise and not a factual state. But I will throw in some facts here and there. Like, here we go. So there is a popular legend amongst Jamaicans that KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, in Jamaica is better than its counterparts in the United States. While this may be subjective and, you know, open to debate, there are a few reasons why Jamaicans believe this to be true. Firstly, KFC is one of the most popular fast food chains in Jamaica and has been serving customers on the island for over 40 years. KFC opened its first restaurant in Jamaica in 1973 and since then it has become a staple in the Jamaican diet. Jamaican KFC is known for its unique blend of herbs and spices which give it a distinct flavor that is hard to replicate. The chicken is also cooked differently, resulting in a crispy, flavorful skin that is hard to resist. Well, keep in mind that Jamaican KFC is highly regarded by Jamaica because of its high quality ingredients that is used to cook the food. KFC Jamaica sources most of its ingredients locally, including the chicken, which is raised on Jamaican farms and fed a diet of locally grown grains. This results in a fresher, more flavorful product that is easily enjoyed by many Jamaicans. Furthermore, the customer service at Jamaica KFC is often cited to be better than KFCs in the United States. Jamaicans are known for their hospitality and warmth, and this is reflected in the service provided by the KFC staff in Jamaica. Many customers report feeling that like they are part of family when visiting KFC Jamaica and the staff will often go out their way to ensure that the customers are satisfied. This also includes the long wait times that you have to do when waiting for the chicken. I understand that people can get a little bit impatient, even me sometimes is waiting for a while and wondering when my chicken is coming up. But you gotta keep in mind that Jamaican KFCs, they're always cooking the chicken fresh. So you're always getting the chicken fresh. Of course, you know, taste is subjective and some may prefer KFC in the United States and others prefer KFC in Jamaica. Others prefer KFC other places. But overall, Jamaica KFC is hands down, in my honest opinion, the absolute best. The legend of Jamaican KFC being better than the United States may never be fully proven, but it is a testament to the unique cultural identity and culinary traditions of Jamaica. So Jamaican KFC's fusion of traditional flavors with international fast food elements showcases culinary innovation. The incorporation of Jamaican spices and techniques in KFC's menu items demonstrates the nation's ability to put its own twists on global cuisine. The growth of KFC in Jamaica has contributed to 
job creations, and economic development. Its accessibility, affordability, and presence in both urban and rural areas have made it a part of many Jamaicans' lives, furthering intertwining with the nation's fabric. While ackee and sawfish remains a delicacy loved by many, Jamaican KFC's fusion of local and international flavors could attract tourists seeking a familiar taste with a twist. Its global recognition might pique the interest of visitors curious about Jamaican cuisine. Remember, this argument is not meant to diminish the culture and historical significance of ackee and saltfish as Jamaica's national dish. Instead, it just illustrates how Jamaican KFC could represent a modern interpretation of the nation's culinary identity, and that's reflective of a changing and diverse society. Look at the drive through drive through is packed and it goes all the way down there it's packed if I didn't tell you guys already this is what I have to tell you one last time every KFC here in Jamaica no matter where you go has a long line fam long long line you'll be waiting forever so it's night time here in Montego Bay and I'm hungry I got a good appetite and I'm thinking about just getting some KFC. Why? KFC in Jamaica is slamming, bro. Do you guys not know how busted KFC in Jamaica is? It's like eating crack. It, New York, USA KFC comes nowhere near Jamaican KFC. And I'm, I'm probably going to do some voiceovers because there's a whole lot of tidbits I like to add on to this. But let me just keep it up. Buck. We have fresh chicken from the island. We have the herbs and spices here from the island. And you have just flavor amongst flavor of this chicken. And they open 24 hours, bro. I mean, well, they're up until 12 a.m. here in Jamaica time, which is 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But, yo, you can't beat that. And not only that, it's like... A pride and joy, well, not really a pride and joy, but it's like Jamaica took it and claimed it as their own. Like, you guys don't know the legend that is Jamaican KFC. That even when Jamaicans come to the States and try to and sample our KFC, you know, they are utterly disappointed. But Jamaican KFC? Bruh. Okay, let's go. I want to get myself a chicken sandwich and a bucket of chicken. We're going to review it, man. I want to show you what's up. It doesn't matter which KFC that you go to, y'all. It's always going to be packed inside. Or there's always going to be a line. It's always going to be activities, what I'm saying. I was waiting for this, y'all. I was waiting. The original one, right? If this is supposed to be a diet, why does this taste like a breast? I don't know, maybe that. Maybe it's because the chicken is fresh. Fresh air. That was a wing, my bad. But, grease ketchup, fries. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah. yeah, that's right. There's ants here. You can't leave your food around here in Jamaica because the ants will eat it for you. It's a sweet ketchup. I'm telling you, this is it. This is everything, man. It's gonna go. It's not overly salty. The chicken tastes like it's been live. Meaning as if they just slaughtered it. Mm. 
That's on point too. Question of the day, have you been to KFC in Jamaica? Let us know your experience down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, now known as X. Keep eating, keep exploring. I'll get you guys in the next one. Peace.